Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a clothing haul that is from a company I have never showed on my channel before. The company is called Blushmark. They did send me all of these items, but they didn't ask me to film a YouTube video. I just am. This company sent me $75 worth of clothes. I got to pick them all, but the thing is they don't care about the YouTube. So I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about this brand. It is a brand that I think everyone should know about. There are a couple of hits, a couple of misses, and overall just a different cheap find website, but these ones actually have some quality to them. If you guys are interested in a new try on clothing haul, then keep on watching. Make sure you guys follow all of my social medias. They'll be right here, as well as my OnlyFans to get more of a day-to-day -day exclusive behind the scenes of my everyday life. And I do message back on that platform to everyone. If you know me, you know I am all about a bargain. I don't think paying full price for literally anything makes sense. This company reached out and emailed me and asked if I would do TikToks for them in exchange for the clothes. Transition videos are really hard and that one probably took me two hours. A good thing I don't live in an apartment because the amount of times I flung the shoes was embarrassing. I ordered it September 10th and it came September 22nd, which is pretty standard for China shipping. I thought it came pretty fast. The packaging was beautiful, had like a nice touch to it. Like they put some care into the packaging. I got nine things for $75, which is extremely affordable. Go ahead and check them out if you want some cheap finds. These are very basic clothes that you could wear a million times different ways, which I think is very much a staple for your wardrobe. I'm going to be showing you my favorite one first. When I tried this on, I died. When I was looking at this on their app, it wasn't really something that I could see myself wearing all the time, but I wanna add more staple pieces to my wardrobe, so I decided why not, and then it ended up being my favorite. This will be the first top. It is a white flowy top that ties in the front, it is cropped, and then it is quite low cut, which is nice. Here is the back pretty simple. That one is called Enjoy Your Love White Long Sleeve Top. I got it in a small and it was $15. So probably the most expensive out of everything I got and that's still not that much. Next thing I have is a schoolgirl skirt. I know I've said in every single video previously to this, but I am very tall. The skirts sometimes don't really fit or they show my whole butt, which I mean, hey, why not? I do want some skirts that maybe I could go out in public in. When I looked at this on the app, it looked kind of like above the knee length, not super short not super long this is a black and white plaid skirt there's a zipper on the side and then here's the back pretty similar to the front the name of this one is check please back skirt it was $11 and I got it in a small I'll be real with you guys when I put this one on I felt like a schoolgirl uniform but not in like the sexy way like in the actual I'm going to school way I knew I wanted a longer skirt but I definitely think this is just a little frumpy the quality is really really nice and the fabric and material is very high quality especially for the price but overall this was a, a miss for me moving on this is going to be the third top I got it is a pink color and it scrunches right here but you don't have to have it scrunched you can scrunch it as much as you want to I love having an option wearing it two different ways with the same top and then here is the back it is a bit see-through this one I really only own black bras your black bra does show maybe no bra would be best for this one but overall I'm in love with this top I think it complements me really really nicely I know the scrunch detail is really in right now so they're very on trend that one is the only feature blush tank top this is a gag four dollars and it is it's great material it's just a little see-through that pink top is definitely a hit for me our fourth item is another skirt. This will be the front. It is just an elastic band. There's a slit on one side. It's like a fake alligator snakeskin material. Here's the back, pretty similar to the front, except it doesn't have the slit. There's no zipper, no button. And again, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I saw this on the app, I thought it was going to be leather. Obviously not genuine leather. I knew it was going to be pleather, but I thought it was going to be like a thick, leather skirt. That's why I picked it out. I have a million thin material skirts, but when I tried this on, 
it was everything I could have asked for. It fits me very well. I got a small. It just complements my body. It is super short, but it's, it fits me. So if you're not six foot, it'll probably fit you better. <laughs> when I first unboxed it, it wasn't it for me. And then as soon as I put it on, I knew it was my new favorite skirt. That one is called On The Edge Black Skirt. Got it in a small, $6. That one's definitely a hit for me and also one of my favorites. Do want to get some things that I can layer in because it will be cold in Texas. I will be having my first actual winter. This is just a black cropped hoodie, super soft material. It's long sleeve. And then here is the back. Again, very similar to the front. The material is a bit see-through, but it's super soft. It's exactly how it is advertised. Have no complaints about it whatsoever. It's very cute, very comfy, and it was a hit. The name of it is The Thought of You Black Hoodie. I got this in a medium and that one was $8. This top is definitely one I was very bummed out about, I guess. So this will be the front of it. It's an off the shoulder long sleeve sheer top. It has that scrunch material and then it ties on the sleeves. Here's the back. Again, very similar to the front. And I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, it's extremely see-through. Not the same as it was advertised. It is still really cute. The concept of it is really nice, so hopefully I can make it work, but it's just super sheer. So this one is definitely a miss for me. It was $12 and the name of it is The Night Is Mine Black Long Sleeve Top. It was a miss. Moving on, whenever I shop for clothes, I always like to get some sort of dress. I tend to gravitate towards dresses a lot. I just love them. But speaking of things that are see-through, <laughs> this dress is so cute, but it's just, it's so see-through. So you would need some nude Spanx or something, like a nude bodysuit, maybe a slip dress under. This is the back and it has like a business collar and it scrunches. I think it's just because I'm super tall, but it scrunches kind of like at a weird spot for me. I'm sure if you were shorter, it would scrunch it like your waist like it's supposed to. So that's something that I found very annoying and it is very see-through, but the concept of this dress is so cute. The length is nice. I got a medium. I always get mediums in dresses. This one is called Solitude White Mini Dress and it was $11. If it was a thicker material or not so see-through, this would definitely be a hit for me, but because it is so see-through, I'm gonna say it's a miss. Moving on to our last item. This is the same pink as the tank top I just showed you guys, but it is in a t-shirt form with ruffle sleeves. How cute. It has the same trendy scrunch tie in the front, and then here is the back. This one is thinner. It is definitely see-through material, but overall it's very, very complimentary on my body type. So I do enjoy this top. It was $6 and it's called the Rising Hope Blush Short Sleeve Top in a small. I picture this with just some denim shorts and casual. I will definitely be wearing this a lot. I think the ruffle detail is super sweet and cute and this one is definitely a hit. Another thing I got is just a black face mask. They do have those for sale. It's one size. It was $2. Always wear your mask. That is my review of Blushmark clothing. Overall, I do recommend this clothing brand. I want to say thank you to them for sending me these clothes, even though you didn't ask for a YouTube video. Here you go. <laughs> I always want to show you guys what I'm getting and be super real with you. I actually really, really like the brand. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment which one was your favorite because I love hearing from you guys. Follow all of my social medias as well as my OnlyFans. I'm also still in the running for Maxim's Australia's Hottest Cover Girl Contest. Down in the description, there's a link on how to vote for me. Please, please, please vote for me. We're We've been in this for quite a while and let's keep going strong. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.